Hi friends, this is the generation of technology. So we are IR commerce classes decided, why not use technology for the sake of studies, for the benefit of students. So we have compiled all the critical points, the basics of every chapter, rather the most important chapters at one place in the form of a mobile app, which you can listen to it whenever you want at your convenience, without requiring Wi-Fi, no internet required, no 3G, no 4G. You just have to download in your mobile and listen to it at your convenience. My advice, listen to all the chapters at least thrice a day till your day of the exam and I am definitely sure you will be able to remember all the critical points during the examination. So friends, Take this mobile app, use it and score maximum marks in your examination. Wish you all the best. Next we go to cash flow statement. Cash flow statement is given to three parts. Number one, cash flows from operating activities. Cash flows from investing activities. And the last one, cash flows from financing activities. Friends, let us start with cash flow statement. Format will be, you will start with cash flows from operating activities. There you will start with net profit, closing balance minus opening balance. Then adjustment for profit loss account items. You will add depreciation, add non-operating expenses, add provision for taxation, add appropriation, less non-operating income. You will get a total. After that, you will make some adjustment for working capital incomes. You will add increase in current liabilities. You will add decreasing current assets, less decreasing current liabilities, less increasing current assets. When you add up everything, we get cash generated from operations, less income tax paid. Last line will be net cash from operating activities. Second, cash flows from investing activities. Assets purchased, assets sold, interest received, dividend received. I repeat, asset purchased, assets sold, interest received, dividend received. We get net cash from investing activities. And last, cash flows from financing activities, issue of shares or debentures, redemption of shares or debentures, interest paid, dividend paid, we get net cash from financing activities. When you add up all the three, cash flows from operating activities, Cash flows from investing activities, cash flows from financing activities, all the three put together, either there will be increase in cash or decrease in cash. So next line you will write net increase or decrease in cash. To that you will add cash and cash equivalent opening balance and when you add you will get cash and cash equivalent the closing balance cash and cash equivalent consists of cash balance bank balance bank overdraft and marketable investments at this juncture the format of the cash flow is over while preparing cash flow statement they will be giving you many many adjustments for which we have to pass some journal entries. 
So let us have a look at the adjustments and their corresponding journal entries. Number one, fixed assets. If provision for depreciation is not given anywhere in the problem, I repeat, fixed assets. If provision for depreciation is not given anywhere in the problem, then pass the following journal entries. Number one, for asset purchased, entry will be asset account debit to cash account. For depreciation charged, entry will be depreciation account debit to asset account. For asset sold, entry will be cash account debit to asset account. Cash account debit with the selling price to asset account with the WTV, any difference should be transferred to profit and loss account. So three entries for assets, asset purchased, asset account debit to cash account, depreciation charge, depreciation account debit to asset account, asset sold, cash account debit to asset account. Now we start with fixed asset account. You will start with the balance brought down, then by balance carried down, both these amounts will be given in the balance sheet. Then for asset purchase to cash, by depreciation and by sale, total. Out of these five items, four items will be given to you and fifth one will be the missing figure, the balancing figure. If the debit side is short, you will write cash, transfer it to investing activity. If credit side is short, you will write depreciation, transfer it to Prof. Loss Account Debit. Friends, Prof. Loss Account Debit means add to net profit in operating activities. And Prof. Loss Account Credit means less from net profit in operating activities. If provision for depreciation is given anywhere in the problem, if provision for depreciation, friends, is given anywhere in the problem, the journal entries will change for asset purchased, asset account debit to cash account. For depreciation charged, entry will be depreciation account debit to provision for depreciation account. For asset sold, cash account debit with the selling price, provision for depreciation account debit with the total depreciation to asset account with the cost. Cash account debit with the selling price. Provision for depreciation account debit with the total depreciation to asset account with the cost. Any difference should be transferred to profit and loss account. After passing the journal entries, now we have to open the fixed asset account. Fixed asset account will be opened at cost because the problem is having provision for depreciation. The account will be opened as under. First to write to balance brought down, by balance carried down, both this amount you will get from the balance sheet to cash for asset purchased. Second effort will go to investing activity by sale on the credit side. Along with this you also open provision for depreciation account. If you start on the credit side, by balance brought down, then to balance carried down, to fix the asset account, this entry along with sale, by depreciation, second debit effect will go to profit and loss account. If debit side is short, in fixed asset account, you write cash and you will transfer it to investing activity. If credit side is short, in the second account, you will write depreciation and transfer it to Profit loss account in operating activity. Sometimes in the problem, they will give you assets scrapped, discarded, or written off. If provision for depreciation is not given in the problem, I repeat, if provision for depreciation is not given anywhere in the problem, entry will be profit and loss account debit 
to asset account with the WDV. And if provision for depreciation is given in the problem, entry will be profit and loss account debit, provision for depreciation account debit with the total depreciation to asset account with the cost. I repeat, asset scrap, discarded, written off, means thrown away, no cash comes in. If provision is not given, entry is profit loss account debit to asset account with the WDV. If provision is given in the problem, profit loss account debit will be the balancing figure. Provision for depreciation account debit with the total depreciation to asset account with the cost. Sometimes in the problem, they will give you profit loss account or revenue statement or income and expenditure account. They are given in the question. Then you will pass the entries only for the following adjustments like interest paid, depreciation, non operating income, non operating expenses, provision for taxation, and appropriation. I repeat. When they give you profit loss account or revenue statement or income and expenditure account, friends, you will never pass the entry for sale, cost of goods sold, administrative expenses, selling expenses. No. You will pass entry only for the six items interest paid, depreciation, non operating income, non operating expenses, provision for taxation, and appropriation items. Let us come to the next point, which is called proposed dividend. They will say dividend is proposed or dividend declared. The entry will be profit loss account debit to proposed dividend account. Profit loss account debit to proposed dividend account. Next they will say proposed dividend paid. Entry will be proposed dividend account debit to cash account. So only two entries in proposed dividend. Either dividend is proposed or dividend is paid. If it is proposed, profit loss account debit to proposed dividend account. If the amount is paid, proposed dividend account debit to cash account. How will the account look like? You will open proposed dividend account. First on the credit side, by balance brought down. On the debit side, to balance carried down. Both these amounts you are getting from the balance sheet. Then when the dividend is paid to cash, second effect, we will go to financing activity and buy profit loss for dividend proposed. So these four items will be there in proposed dividend account. Three will be given to you. Fourth will be the missing figure for which you have to open the proposed dividend account. If debit side is short, you will write cash, transfer it to financing activity. If credit side is short, you will write profit loss. You will transfer it to profit loss account in operating activity. Sometimes no adjustments are given regarding proposed dividend. In that case, from the balance sheet, opening balance means dividend paid, you will directly transfer to financing activity. And closing balance means dividend proposed, you will directly transfer to profit loss account debit in operating activity activity. Next, interim dividend paid they will see. Interim dividend paid. Entry very simple. Profit loss account debit to cash account. Profit loss account debit to cash account. Profit loss account debit will go to operating activity. To cash will go to financing activity. Next we come to provision for taxation. Again two entries here. Income tax provided or provision for taxation made. Income tax provided or provision for taxation made. Entry will be profit and loss account debit to provision for taxation account. Income tax paid, they will say. Income tax paid. Cash goes out. Provision for taxation account debit to cash account. So two entries for provision for taxation. Income tax provided, profit and loss account debit to provision for taxation account. Income tax paid, provision for taxation account debit to cash account. When you open the account, how will it look like? Credit side, by balance brought down. Debit side, to balance carried down. 
both these amounts you will get from the balance sheet then to cash operating activity to cash you will transfer to operating activity by profit and loss you will transfer to profit and loss in operating activity if debit side is short you write cash transfer to operating activity last line if credit side is short you would write profit and loss transfer to profit and loss account in operating activity if no adjustments are given regarding provision for taxation in the adjustments they must they will give you provision for taxation in the balance sheet and nothing is given in the adjustment then opening balance it is nothing but income tax paid you will write them in directly operating activity last line and closing balance is income tax provided you will write them in profit and loss account debit in the operating activity opening balance transfer to operating activity last line closing balance will go to profit and loss account debit in operating activity next entry will be for issue of shares very simple cash account debit to share capital account to securities premium account next they will give you preference shares redeemed at a premium entry will be preference share capital account debit securities premium or profit loss account debit to cash account preference share capital account debit with the face value of preference shares redeemed securities premium or profit loss account debit for the premium amount to cash account in the balance sheet if you find security premium you will debit security premium account if there is no security premium in the problem you will debit profit loss account debentures redeem entry will be debentures account debit with the face value security premium or profit loss account debit to cash account then they will give you goodwill preliminary expenses discount of shares and debentures shares or debentures issue expenses underwriting commission miscellaneous expenditure all these items will be given on the asset side of the balance sheet normally they will decrease only so if decreases it is called return loss and directly the difference you will transfer to profit loss account debit in the operating activity sometimes they will give you general reserve or any other reserve like debenture redemption reserve normally they will increase if increases you will transfer to profit loss account debit in operating activity if decrease profit loss account credit side in operating activity sometimes they will give you pre acquisition dividend received received means cash comes in cash account debit to investment account simple dividend received is cash account debit to profit loss account but if they give you pre acquisition dividend received entry will be cash account debit to investment account next they will give you income tax assessment of last year completed during the current year with a gross demand of some amount income tax assessment of last year completed during the current year with a gross demand of with some amount entry will be provision for taxation account debit to advance tax account provision for taxation account debit to advance tax account with the amount of gross demand suppose in the journal entry if any current assets or current liability appears for example stock account debit or debtors account debit or creditors account credit any bills receivable bills payable if any current asset or current liability appears in the journal entry never open a special ledger account for such current assets and make adjustment in the opening balance sheet i repeat if any current asset or current liability appears in the journal entry never open any ledger account for them and make adjustment or add them in the opening balances in the opening balance sheet friends sometimes we are asked to prepare 
the cash flow statement of a sole trader or a sole proprietor or a partnership firm. For this, we require three extra entries. For capital introduced, entry will be cash account debit to capital account. Cash account debit will go to financing activity to capital account. For a drawings made, entry will be capital account debit to cash account. Capital account debit to cash account. Cash account will go to financing activity. And third, for net profit, entry will be profit loss account debit to capital account. Profit loss account debit, he will show this amount in the operating activity first line to capital account. Thank you.